Welcome back to uh, going to be part two of our of our uh, tutorial mission. Seems as if it's um, sent me back a bit, but hopefully we'll get it finished this time. So let's uh, carry on here and say I'm on my way. Lead the way, Exo. We've got your back. You have no idea how happy I am to see you. <laughs> they were looking for something in here. Can't imagine what, though. I mean, they have warp and impulse tech. What else would be in engineering? Especially since the ship's a complete mess, thanks to them. Is there a part they didn't shoot? Sorry, I, I could really use your help, since you're here. taken a lot of damage. I'll do what I can to get the essentials online, but I could use some help. See anything you could do in here? Use your career skills to help your ship. Engineer, I can improve the ship's structural integrity field. Okay. I need you to get the structural integrity field out of the red. It's sitting at 15%, and that's, well, bad. I need you to boost the power flow and distribution rate at the two consoles back there. You'll need to stabilize the overall calibration, too, at the central console here. Got it? Got it. Sometimes missions specialized to your career class are available. Okay, warp core stable. Life support is...
Safety fields engaged. Shipwide comms online. Glad you're still with us. We could use a hand up here. We've taken casualties, and the Klingons could send more boarding parties at any time. Do what you need to do down there, and report to the bridge. Aye, sir. Return to the bridge, aye, sir. Head back to the bridge. We'll cover this deck. Who is in command here? Speak now! I'm Captain Schaefer, and you are? I am Ja'ula of House Mokai. Surrender now, Captain, while you're still able. Request denied. Get off my ship! Get off my ship! If you insist, Captain. John Chu! are gone. And so is the captain. I'll try to find the Klingon ship. system is down as well. I'll be okay. Thanks to you. I owe you one. What, what happened here? Incoming transmission from the Klingons! Order 
with your crew to do as I say. XO, follow my orders to the letter. Fire on my position. <gasps> Spoken like a Klingon, Captain. Now die like one. What do we do now? Follow the captain's orders. Target the location. Fire. We're still here. Most of us, anyway. The captain. Look, the captain knew what was at stake. He gave the order, and you followed it. If you hadn't, we'd probably all be dead now. So, you're the captain now. We're with you. Let's make his sacrifice count. Take a seat in the captain's chair. To sit, press A while targeting the chair you wish to sit in. Bridge officers add abilities to your ship in space and accompany you on away missions on the ground. All decks have reported in. We took some casualties and sick bay is full. All systems have taken damage, but some were hit worse than others. Life support is stable. Past that, it's not exactly optimal. Send out to Tesco. Working on it, but something's jamming our long-range comms on all frequencies. Keep trying. What's the situation? The status of the Klingon ship. Still running under cloak. We knocked them around pretty good before they slinked off with their tail between their legs. That said, we're in rough shape ourselves. Tilly, damage report. Damage control teams are assigned. We've put out all the fires and started patching the hull breaches, but it's gonna take a while. We, um, we'll get the critical systems back online as soon as we're able, Captain. Stick with it, uh, and we contact the Fed Laura. Still reading their distress signal. I can break through the jamming at short range. Shall I hail them? Yes. Let's see how they're doing. Opening hailing frequencies now, Captain. Oh, this is the USS Antares. What is your status? Greetings, uh, Captain. Uh, thank you for coming to my aid. I must apologize. I sent the distress signal under... Caress. I'm sure you'd do the same with a Klingon disruptor pointed at your head. So you were the, so you were the bait. Quite so, Captain. 
our Klingon friends took pains to make my plight look convincing, to the point of damaging my warp drive beyond function, at the risk of <laughs> wearing out my welcome. Would you be so kind and assist me? I'd uh, rather not be around if the Klingons come back. Let's see what we can do. Press up to increase your ship's speed. Press down to decrease your ship's speed. Use the left stick to pitch downward or upward, as well as to turn left or right. Stop, Captain. A apologies. I'll wait for your command from now on. Scanning in progress. They need three or four warp induction coils, Tops. We can spare a few. Position yourself near the ships and press A to interact with them. my young friend. You'll need it. Can't say I blame him. I wouldn't want to fight Klingons in a tub like that either. Speaking of Klingons... Status report. We have a problem. Most of our plasma injectors are a wreck. See, plasma injectors are made to take a beating, but this damage goes way beyond what would happen in a fight. Pretty sure the Klingons sabotaged them when they boarded us. They wanted to strand us here. Tamav is installing our spare injectors, but we're three short. Without those, we can't go to warp. Recommendations? We're not the first ship the Klingons have hit here, Captain. There's wreckage throughout the system. I recommend scanning the derelicts nearby. We may be able to find and recover intact plasma injectors from the wreckage. Let's make it happen. Scanning in progress. I'm picking up a few compatible parts in the wreckage. Blast off the outer casings on those units, and we can get what we need. Press the right trigger to fire energy weapons. Little Starfleet, call we poo. Digging through scraps. Ugh, she is getting on my last nerve. Thank you. 
Okay, these injectors are a little beat up, but I can work with them. Some of these are real top-shelf tech. Type J's with a two-liter flow, modulating reserves, and those sweet new Comer Darbers. Klingon out there, who wants to kill us? Lovely. Remember the Klingons work. Gonna need a little time to get these installed. I'd rather not breach the core after we go to warp because of a full system meltdown. And that can happen with dicey injectors. Delay. Right. I'm on it, Captain. Good. Evelyn, what's our status? While engineering deals with the warp core, we're stuck here. We need critical systems back online ASAP. It's a sure bet the Klingons are making repairs. And they aren't as safety concerned as we are. They might be back and shooting faster than we'd like. We need to find what's jamming our comms. We're on it, Captain. I located several Klingon military satellites nearby. Ian thinks we'll be able to reach Starfleet if we destroy the satellites, and I agree. Besides, we could use a little more target practice. Destroy the Klingon satellites. Right, let's take them out. You must be within 10 kilometers of an enemy to attack it. Use your phaser banks to weaken shielded targets. Use your torpedoes on an enemy when their shield is down. Target destroyed. Two more to go. comps are back, Captain. Shall I send the distress signal? That Klingon ship took some real damage during the fight. I bet she's leaking plasma all over the place. We might be able to use that to find them. We need to deal with them and fast. No argument here. I'd rather not get blown up by Klingons on a cadet cruise. Or, you know, ever, really. <laughs> Scanning now. Oh, yes! I found it! Well done. Sending you the data now. We can trace their plasma signature right back to the source. It'll show up on the map. Use fuel impulse, full impulse to travel it to the source of the plasma structure. Plot and intercept. Areas port or intercept course. It's pretty far from us. We should travel at full impulse to reach it. This will temporarily take power from the other systems, but vastly improve our speed. Once we drop out of full impulse, the power will return to other systems. Baka! Your death will be swift, poof poof! Hold the up button to activate and deactivate full impulse. torpedo will increase the power of your next torpedo attack. Decloaking, Captain!
Captain, while we have the opportunity, it might not be a bad idea to review some of the basic Starship combat files. Wouldn't hurt to be ready when the next group of enemies attack us out here. Your ship is outfitted with phaser beam banks. These weapons have 250 degree target, degree firing arc. This is the firing arc for the forward phaser banks. This ship, this is the firing arc for the rear phaser bank. Notice both the forward and rear phasers have overlapping arc of fire on the sh sides of your ship. Firing at enemies with the overlapping portion of your firing arcs are known as broadsiding. This allows both the forward and rear phases banks to fire on the same target at the same time, increasing your damage output. Federation captains who prefer team beam bank weapons favor broadside technique and will often cycle their target, keeping them with the broadside arc or at all. Oh, excuse me. It would be wise not to follow me. Cowardly, but wise. Remember, though high-yield torpedo is powerful, it's practically useless against shielded foes. Tamav and I need time to get the plasma injector installed. Please don't break anything else. Target's shield have failed. Incoming transmission, Captain. It's a Starfleet vessel, the Sabrova. Put them on screen, Alan. This is Captain Thykir Shrand. We've received your signal. What happened here? We were ambushed by Klingons, Captain. I see. Ever since they acquired their cloaking device, they've been getting bold, even for Klingons. You're lucky to be alive, Cadet. Which reminds me, you're on Captain Schaefer's ship. Where is he? He was captured and taken to the Klingon ship. They killed him after he ordered us to fire on his position. And did you follow his orders? Yes, sir. I see. Unfortunate. I served with Anton on the Endeavor. He was a fine officer. We could use more like him. I take it you're the acting captain then? I am. Very well. Schaefer didn't place trust in his officers lightly. If he chose you to be his XO, he knew you could get the job done. I'll expect the same. Our first order of business is getting your ship and crew to safety. We'll escort you to make sure you get back in one piece. What about the Klingons, sir? They're still out here. I'm sure they are. And if they're foolish enough to come back looking for a fight, they'll get one. In the meantime, set a course for our position. Sobrova, out. Yes, sir. So, 
the wolf now fights with its cub, then. No matter. to check in on another Starfleet vessel when we received your distress signal. That vessel is still not responding to hails. Considering what happened to you, I'm beginning to fear the worst. I'm going to investigate, and I want you to join me. If the Klingons are up to no good in that system, I'll need backup. I know it's asking a lot, but we're at war. Consider this a field promotion, Cadet. You have your orders. This... this feels wrong, doesn't it? I mean, the captain just got killed by a House Mokai matriarch over something she thought we had on board. Shouldn't we be chasing her instead? A new crew member? <sighs> You're right. You're right. For all we know, this Ja'ula could be behind what happened to that other ship. We should help them. I'll get back down to engineering, Captain. We are ready to go to warp when you are. gonna do is stop this video here and then we'll start a new one um, as we go when we get to the that arm whatever that's called <laughs> 